Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to go over digital pH meters and I'm going to show you just how to calibrate them. Let's go. I get a lot of questions about pH meters. How often should I calibrate my pH meter? How do I know if my pH meter needs to be calibrated? How do I calibrate my pH meter? So, and how do I store my pH meter? So I'm going to go over that today. The main thing I'm going to do is show you how to calibrate your pH meter because the directions that come with them are not exactly clear. So uh, I'm going to show you today step by step how to do it. The first thing you need to do is uh, get distilled water. You have to use distilled water because the pH of distilled water is neutral. And that way when you mix your calibration packets, uh, the, the water then becomes a specific pH for the meter to read to be able to calibrate it. Your pH meter uh, is most likely going to look like this. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're red, um, but they're basically all the same if they look like this shape with the little pin thing on the back and the uh, lid that goes on it like this. And when you get them, make sure when you order them that you're getting the calibration packets uh, with them. If you order them from STC, you will get these. I'll leave a link down in the show notes uh, for where you can get this from still in the clear. It comes with three different packets, a four, a 6.86, and a 19 or 9.18 and we are going to mix up these packets in 250 milliliters of water and if you guys uh, have watched a, enough of my videos you know I don't measure exactly usually but with this it needs to be exactly 250 milliliters of distilled water otherwise when you mix the packet the pH is not going to be exactly right and your calibration of your pH meter is going to be off. So I'm using a measuring cup. The first one I'm going to mix up is the 6.86, which is going to be the first calibration that we do. And you might also think that, uh, you know, because the packets come in four, 6.86 and 9.18, you would start with the four. Um, that's not accurate. Uh, you start with the 6.86. And I'm going to mix this up in a little mason jar, and then I'm going to pour them in a cup, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. So I'm going to pour all the 250 milliliters in there, drop in the contents of the packet, and then I'm just going to shake this up until all these little granules are well dissolved. And what we're doing is... The, at this point, when we're calibrating, the pH meter is not reading uh, the pH of the water for the calibration. What we're doing is we're using the water to tell the pH meter this is what 6.86 pH looks like. And now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use all of this um, 250 milliliters because I don't have to. Now, you, when you're mixing it up, yes, you have to use the 250, but I'm going to pour it into this glass. Let me change the angle of the camera. So I've got the pH meter clipped onto the glass so that um, I don't have to hold it. And then I'm going to pour enough water in it that it just reaches the top of that fill line right there. And that's all I'm going to use. And then I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to do another 250 milliliters, and then I'm going to mix up the 4.0, and then I'm going to do another 250 milliliters and mix up the 9.18. Okay, we're going to turn the pH meter on, submerge it into the 6.86 solution, hold down the calibration button for five seconds. let it go it says 6.86 then it starts flashing you leave it in there until it stops flashing now the pH meter knows what 6.86 looks like 
rinse the diode with some distilled water, set it into the 4.0 solution, hold the calibration button down for five seconds, let up, push the button in and out, four is reading, then it starts flashing, leave it in there until it stops flashing, like that, rinse the diode, put it in the 9.18 solution, hold the calibration button for five seconds, let up and then press and release the calibration button quickly two times, it'll flash 9.18, leave it in there until it's solid, like that. Now the pH meter is calibrated. And that's all there is to calibrating a pH meter. Now, as far as the other questions, um, the most common question I get is, how do I know if my pH meter needs to be calibrated? And that's pretty simple. You just take, let me just dump this glass of solution out, rinse it. This is just distilled water. If I test distilled water, it should read seven. And there we go, seven. So this, this meter has already been calibrated. If it needed to be calibrated, it would not be reading 7.0 or close to 7.0. You know, if I got a 6.95, I would be fine with it. So uh, that's how you know if it needs to be calibrated. Now, as far as how do I store it? I leave my diode wet. After use, I rinse it with distilled water. I put the cap on, I don't dry it, and then I put it back in the case. And then how often should you uh, recalibrate your meter? That's just if it needs it. So like I said, I showed you how to test it. And if it tests okay, then you don't need to recalibrate it. Now, you can order these packets online. Uh, you can order them from Still in the Clear. I will put a link down in the show notes. So it's nice to always have uh, a set of these packets on hand because you never know when you're going to start to use this. And it's out of calibration. You need to recalibrate it. And when you're at the moment when you're trying to use it, that's not when you want to be ordering some packets. So get a set of these packets. They're not that expensive and just have them on hand with your pH meter. And so that's about it. If you have any more questions about pH meters, drop them down in the comments and uh, I'll get to it fairly quickly. See you next time.